Yo, I'm out in the garden, relaxing, and uh, just amongst all the green grass and the green plants. And I was thinking, you know, when when you talk to people about healthy lifestyle or a healthy diet, typically, especially a raw vegan diet, it's typically referred to as a green diet. You know, it's a it's a green lifestyle. Green is almost synonymous with healthy these days. You know, it's all all about being green and eco-friendly and uh, ecologically in tune whatever you know so it's like green green is the color but when people tell me like oh also oh, you, you you live a green lifestyle or you eat lots of greens it's like yeah, it, yeah yeah I do eat some greens sure but it's really more of a yellow lifestyle if, if we have to put a color to it it's a sunny sunny lifestyle you know it's a lifestyle of yellow, red, orange, golden, I mean think about mangoes, papayas, bananas, durians, jackfruits, it's all yellow, it's all golden, it's red, it's you know it's full of vibrancy and color. Green is not really a color I eat much of really. Typically fruits are unripe when they're in their green state and they're not healthy to eat unripe. They're, they'd be sour, they have acids in them and they're not fully developed nutritionally speaking so I really avoid green as a color most of the time you know I eat yellow most of the time so another thing I hear people say is that greens are like the ultimate food you know I think I think it was Victoria Butenko I heard once say that greens are the optimal food for human beings Nutritionally, in terms of minerals and vitamins, sure, they got lots of vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients and all that stuff. But they don't have many calories. And we, everything we do, we need fuel. And greens don't provide much fuel, really. So looking at it like that, we want to find the food that gives us enough fuel to do what we want, but at the same time provides lots of nutrients. And that food is fruit, not greens. You will not be able to sustain yourself living on greens. There's just no way in, no way that you can eat lettuce and get enough energy. Basically because you have to eat like, I don't know, 50 heads of lettuce to get enough calories for the day. It just doesn't work. So fruits fits the bill perfectly. They give sugar, they have fat, they have protein, they have everything you need in a perfect balance. Uh, the reason I thought about it was I just met a guy and we were just kind of chatting about life a little bit and he he, he said yeah I know what you're doing you you're that you know you eat you eat all that grass right you travel around the world and eat grass you know and I said grass I don't eat much grass I just eat fruits yeah 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 fruits and greens grass you know that's the idea people have people have this idea of rabbit food you know they imagine me sitting there eating some lettuce that's all I eat some lettuce and some apple chunks or something like that but that's just completely <laughs> a huge misconception isn't it because it's really a diet full of colors full of amazing vibrant colors lots of variation uh, lots of flavors um, and I guess the least exciting of all flavors is really green yellow golden is a much more exciting flavor I think all right so please subscribe if you haven't done so already give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and um, share your ideas down below fruits are the optimal food for human beings so I don't think we have to push the greens so hard you know they're all right as much as you desire eating greens eat greens but um, the food that, that's really perfect for human beings and that satisfies all our needs, that's really the fruit, you know, fruit. We are really frugivores, so make sure you get some yellow into your diet and if you can get some golden into your diet, that's even better. So have a nice day.